morning student today we are going to learn about internet protocol in network layer so internet protocol is the transmission mechanism used by a tcp ip protocol it is an unreliable and connectionless datagram protocol it provide a best effort deliver service that means ip provides no error checking or tracking since it is unreliable protocol so it must be paired with a reliable protocol such as a tcp ip or uh, ip transport data in packets called datagram each of which is transported separately data may travel along different routes and may arrives out of sequence or duplicates ip does not keep track of routes and has not facility for recording datagram once they arrive because it is a connectionless service it does not create virtual circuit for delivery so datagram is a packet of packets of data it consists a length 2265536 bytes and it consists two parts here and these parts are header and data so header of ip uh, contain so many of uh, fields these are version ip header length ip header length type of service total length identification flags fragment offset time to leave protocol checksum source address destination address options and padding this header is 2240 bytes containing and rest of the whole by whole bytes are contained by data only so uh, datagram uh, in the packet switching uh, we are studied that data always transmitted in packets and these packets consist a header and header gives uh, header contain so many fields and through these fields we are understanding or uh, we are knowing about the information of size flag like that so firstly we are discussing version the version field keeps track of which version of protocol the datagram belongs that means which kind of version we are using and right now we are using ipv4 and uh, work on ipv6 is going on so next one is header length header length is not constant a field in the header is provided to tell how long the header is in 32 bit wa words the minimum value is 5 which applies when no options are present the maximum value of this 4 bit field is 15 which limits the header to 60 bytes the next one is service type service type service type the service type field defines how the datagram should be handled it includes bits that define the priority of datagram it also contain bit that specify the type of service the sender desires such as reliability or throughput etc total length total length field includes everything in the datagram both header and data it define the total length of the ip datagram it is a 2 byte field 16 bits and can define up to 65536 bytes now next one is identification identification field is used in fragmentation a data when passing through different network may be divided into fragments to match the network frame size and when this happen each fragment is identified with a sequence number and a sequence number that together with the source address destination address and user protocol is intended to identify a datagram uniquely now next one is flag this is a type uh, this is a three bit field that deals with fragments that means the data can or cannot be fragmented can be a first middle or last fragment etc so the first bit is define reserved and it should be zero always and the second bit is do not fragment bit if the bit is one that then machine should not fragment the datagram but if the value of this bit is zero then the machine should be fragmented the data if and only if 
necessary the third bed is also called a more fragment bed if it is one that means the data gram is not the last fragment but if the value is zero shows that this is the last or the only fragment now next one is fragmentation offset this is a third 13 bit field which shows the relative position of any fragment which respect to the whole datagram. That means it uh, indicates where in the original datagram this fragment belongs measure in 64 bit units. Now next one is time to leave. The time to leave field defines the number of hopes a datagram can travel before it is discarded. The source host when it creates a datagram set this field to an initiative initial value that means uh, datagram travel through the internet router by router each router decrement this value by one if this value becomes zero before the datagram reaches it finally this final destination the datagram is discarded and this prevent a datagram from going back and forth forever between routers the next one is protocol <coughs> so student protocol fields define which upper layer protocol data are encapsulated in the datagram for an example uh, like TCP is one po uh, possibility but so are UDP and some others now next one is header checksum the header checksum verifies the header only since an error detecting code is applied to the header only because some header fails me changes during transit and this is revertified and recomputed at each router and the checksum is formatted by taking the ones complement of the 16 bit ones complement and addition of all 16 bit words in the header now next one is source IP address C uh, when we are transmitting a data packet there is a sender and a receiver or we can say uh, there is a source and destination point so a source also contain its IP address and same similarly a destination also contain its uh, IP address fine after this options the options are variable length each begins with a one byte code identifying the options some options are followed by a one byte option length field and then one or more data byte the option field is padded out to multiple of four bytes fine after this and last one is padding used to ensure that the datagram header is a multiple of 13 bits in length so this is these all are fields of header only and these fields containing a relative information about the data and a data packet is sended with this header from source to destination i hope you are understanding well thank you